What you're seeing in the background here is CPT top eight for Nordic and Baltic. This is Reekman's Barnett versus uh, Lohi on Urien. And we're going to take a look at the last game because this is the one that is very special to me. It's the one that made me want to play Manat. I know I've kind of fallen off the wagon and I haven't been playing her as much, but I started playing her again recently and I've been trying to learn and watch the Shiv guides all over again. But this set in particular is the one that made me want to return. After watching uh, Reekman's Barnett in the uh, Capcom Cup exhibitions, I came back and watched this one because the way that it ends is something very special and something that <laughs> I think is one of the greatest modes in Street Fighter V that I've seen. One of my personal great moments, I guess you would say. It, it does get discounted a lot because it's online, so some people aren't going to see this and some people aren't going to say that this is like a... A real Capcom Cup set, but I think the pressure is still there for these players, right? This means a lot. This is before Capcom Cup even got uh, canceled. So these players were playing for an actual spot at the real Capcom Cup where you, you get to travel the Dominican Republic, you get to play for a quarter of a million dollars. It's a big fucking deal, online or not. Uh, and to be able to play a character like Manat uh, and tournament pressure like this and do things like this is amazing to me. That's not even the combo that I wanted to look at, and I just remembered it <laughs> watching it here. Uh, I, I really took some of the comments that you guys left on the video yesterday to heart, and I've been just having fun again, you know, just playing what I want to, and this is a character that I had the most fun on, even though I'm very apprehensive to uh, learn her a lot of the times, because she is so hard, and I do lose to things that I know how to beat a lot, because the way that you have to punish them is difficult. I think... The discovery of the, the what you can do on the character and the difficulty is what makes it interesting to me what makes it fun so that that's why i'm playing her again i've been i've been having a good time so far this is not i honestly i don't think this is a good matchup for manat uh but he makes it look like it i don't think it's an easy matchup for manat i guess you could say i don't know if it's good or bad the only one that I know is good or bad is uh, Cammy. That one sucks. <laughs> She's just on you the whole time. Here's the combo. Oh my god. He taunted. He taunted. <laughs> and this super. We're going to break it down in a second. We're going to watch it again. I love this so much. First time I saw this, I didn't know anything like this was even possible in Street Fighter V. There, there's not very much character expression, if we're being honest, right? Um, a lot of the time, a character has a BNB, &B, you learn that BNB, you do that all the time, or they have a combo for a certain situation. But a character like Manat has situational things like that that you can do. You can style on people like that if you want to. It doesn't always have to be optimal. Um, let's, let's go back, slow it down, and, and I can try my best to explain why this is so crazy. For, for those of you who don't play the game or have never played this character. So he's going to activate here. Each one of these orbs, I know it's kind of blurry. I don't know why the quality is so bad. But each one of those orbs that you see is controlled by a different button. There's six orbs and you have six buttons um, on the game, right? So I think in the front, it's uh, her kicks. So like light kick is at the top, uh, medium kick is in the uh, middle, and then uh, heavy kick is on the bottom, obviously. And the same thing on the other side, but it's with your punch buttons. So he is controlling all these orbs individually throughout the combo. So let's take a look at that. I can't even, honestly, I can't even tell which ones he's used. So he's used the two middle ones. He's used, this is um, heavy kick? I, I don't even know because Yurin is changing positions. So I can't tell which side he's on and which buttons he's pressing or holding. Because you can also do it negative edge. So you can hold the button and release. Or you can double tap and then that'll activate it. You can do, sometimes you can even piano it. Um, you, you might do that on accident. So you do like a quarter circle heavy punch with uh, to, to release the orb and then you roll to heavy punch and the heavy punch will uh, come out because it's negative edge or because that counts as two inputs sometimes because of the buffer system the taunt the taunt is the icing on the cake i don't think he actually used all the orbs did he oh he does wow so so after the two on the top hit he has time to make that one in the front hit i think that's light legs into super he cancels that into super the amount of execution, awareness, and even the balls to do something like that in losers' finals of a CPT event for your region is unmatched. If anybody feels like there's no character expression in this game, or you feel like you're limited by your character, play play Manat. She will humble you very quickly, like she humbled me. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, just, just a great clip I wanted to share. I know a lot of you might not have seen it because you don't uh, keep up with Street Fighter V to this point where online came around and people didn't really want to watch regions uh, outside of the uh, Japan or like the US or people didn't want to watch online tournaments in general. So I feel like this clip gets overlooked a lot, but it's something very special and I just wanted to share it. If you enjoyed this video or anything that you've seen on this channel in the past, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon.